Well, with reaction to this verdict, Mark Stein uh, joins us tonight. This, this does, I mean, it just reminds you of a verdict 20 years ago in a case that was equally politicized, the O.J. Uh, right. Simpson murder trial, where the defense attorneys made it a referendum on larger injustice in American society. I want to read you a quote from one of the lawyers uh, representing this man, in my view, is clearly a murderer, was just acquitted, uh, as we're reporting. He said, and I'm quoting now, this case is used to foment hate, division, and a program of mass deportation. So really, it sounds like this whole thing was recast as a political statement um, rather than a murder trial. So that, I mean, that's yes, kind so of the end of justice, isn't it? I mean, if, tr if trials can be subverted by national politics, then, like, then there's no hope for justice, right? Well, I think it is a miscarriage of justice in the profoundest sense, in that Kate Steinle is dead uh, because she went for a walk in a popular destination in her own city, and her parents will never see anybody convicted for that crime. There's no dispute. I mean, this is slightly different from the O.J. case, where at least he pretended to be looking for the real killers uh, for the last 20 years. This, There's no dispute that this guy... Uh, actually fired the shot or uh, picked up the gun that then shot itself uh, and that this uh, the, this gunshot killed Kate Steinley. And there's no dispute either that this man uh, should not have been in the country, uh, that in fact he had been deported six times. Uh, and to go back to the old line, you know, about the jobs Americans won't do, every society has a proportion of murderers. Uh, murder is a job that Americans will do just as Dutchmen will do or Slovenes will do. You don't need to import foreigners to add to your murder population. No, this, you guy had a, this guy had a grade two education. Uh, we're told that the reason he got off is apparently because he's too stupid to understand what the cops were saying to him. Uh, so he gave conflicting uh, uh, answers about treading on the gun, finding the gun, uh, firing at sea lions. He didn't understand. Why, why are we importing and why why is one political party, the entire bureaucracy, and two-thirds of the remaining political party fetishizing and sentimentalizing uh, immigrants who can't speak the language with a grade two education and setting up competing jurisdictions in this country that protect them at the expense of American citizens? Right. Well, because they provide lower wages uh, and handy uh, voting blocks uh, for those parties. So, um, but there's a massive cost, as you're pointing out, as our viewers, of course, are well aware this case gave rise to, to Kate's law, um, as you know, much debated. But the reason it did was because the San Francisco authorities let this guy go, even after being asked by the feds to hold him for deportation. Right. They refused. So I guess it all adds up to a picture of not just, you know, treating illegal immigrants as you would American citizens, but giving them, in effect, better treatment, special privileges, because they're here illegally. I, I don't know. I, I can't. It's very hard to imagine that an American citizen in Zarate's position would have been acquitted on all these charges. No, uh, th this is basically a lifelong career criminal. Uh, and, the, and the justification for letting him go is that there's no evidence of violent crime. Uh, just nonviolent crime. But the very term sanctuary city is designed to shut down the argument. Because who do you give sanctuary to? You give sanctuary right. to refugees, to those fleeing injustice. Uh, how, can, how, how can there be something called a sanctuary city if it was uh, holding up a place for criminals to hold up? The very term is designed to shut down the debate. And the reason Donald Trump is president is because he declined to operate with, the, with those constraints. Uh, most of the other Republican nominees two years ago, the Jeb Bushes and Lindsey Grahams and all the rest of it, uh, were cowed by that kind of language, by no, Sanctuary totally. City Completely and all the rest of it. And Donald Trump, in fairness, recognized... I mean, I, I, I weep for Kate Steinle's parents tonight. I do not know how I could go on living in that city if, God forbid, uh, my daughter were to be shot by someone who uh, should never have been in the country in the first place yeah. and is actually being protected uh, by the entire bureaucracy, political media class of the country at the expense of American citizens. That's exactly right. Really quickly, I, it, it's hard to imagine now, but two years ago when this happened, happened, 
Um, the behavior of the city of San Francisco allowing this guy to go free in the face mm -hmm. of requests from the feds to hold him, that was denounced by Hillary Clinton in the middle of the presidential race. Things have changed so right. much in two years in the Democratic Party. I wonder how many Democratic office holders will criticize his verdict tomorrow. Yeah, and if you remember, Bernie Sanders championed American citizens and American workers. It's right. not going to be that way in the 2020 campaign. They've moved just in two years. Pretty, pretty stunning. Mark Stein, thank you for that perspective.